as much as um, pollsters and, and traditional consultants try to make politics out into a science, you know, we don't have a lot of tea leaves ahead of Election Day to really tell us um, who's ahead and, and who's likely to win an election. And so the data points that we look at, um, these sort of I kind of view them as kind of digital tea leaves um, to tell us whether a campaign has, you know, a functioning team that knows how to market to folks. That's a pretty important data point um, if they're going to have success on Election Day. And so I think voters voters should care about this because, um, you know, the, the types of tactics that campaigns use and how a campaign runs um, is kind of a reflection of the candidate's values and how they're going to govern. So if someone's running a, a super old school campaign, isn't really, you know, um, interested in, in reaching younger voters or, or, you know, committing a lot of time to reaching um, voters in, uh, you know, Hispanic voters in Spanish language, um, then that's kind of a reflection of their priorities as well. And so um, it's, it's really interesting to see how different campaigns are, are able to operate and adapt to this new environment. Um, but like I said, this has been changing for several cycles. Mm-hmm. And, and um, you know, this year you're going to see way more Facebook ads than you've ever seen before. More ads on YouTube. Um, Instagram will be taken over. <laughs> um, and uh, and I'm really interested in tracking sort of new and, and emerging trends, um, like how folks are, are using TikTok for politics um, and things like that. So uh, it should be a super interesting election year.